Greetings, everyone. Michael Coughlin, uh, Throwback Chevy, uh, brief video, um, because there's something I've been considering for uh, a number of weeks now, and uh, it's alternate transportation. And what I mean is, uh, well, I'll tell you more about it after this. Yes, indeed. Welcome to the program, ladies and gentlemen. Michael Coughlin here, and uh, topic of the day for a brief video. Uh, alternate transportation to the eight-cylinder, four-barrel carbureted 1985 Chevy G20. A wonderful vehicle um, to, uh, you know, be a nomad and uh, live an authentic vanning um, experience. Uh, but what if you want to get something a little more budget conscious for traveling within uh, a city. For example, uh, here in the GTA, the Greater Toronto Area, on the shores of uh, Lake Ontario. I don't know if you can see the blue water way back behind me, um, but it's a wonderful day here in the city. I'm at uh, Bluffers Cathedral Park, or Cathedral Bluffs Park, as the sign has cued me. Uh, but uh, in terms of transportation for getting around downtown and, for example, for work, uh, I often have to get in quickly from the outskirts of town where I work in various shops across the city uh, into uh, downtown at uh, Berkeley Street, Logan, um, uh, DuPont, places like that where traffic is extreme, uh, you know, anywhere from after lunchtime straight on through the day or in the morning, conversely around uh, you know 9 a.m. like in most metropolitan areas it's a real hairy nightmare to get around so what I was considering is an ultimate form of transport that I could pack away in the van for example a uh, bicycle uh, motor assisted or otherwise uh, maybe an electric skateboard because I used to longboard and I thought that would be a wonderful way uh, to get around the city and a lot of fun too uh, but lately I've been leaning toward an electric scooter and I've been obsessively uh, combing the internet on different uh, commerce sites and uh, classifieds uh, looking for a suitable electric scooter and I'm absolutely amazed at where technology has got us uh, in this day and age with uh, electric transportation. You can get almost anything with an electric motor in it. There's people flying around on one-wheeled uh, vehicles. There's people on electric skateboards and, of course, uh, electric scooters. And I'm, I'm absolutely fascinated, uh, infatuated with the idea of motor-assisted transport uh, that ha has a green thumbprint uh, for the world and uh, pennies to charge uh, per month. And, uh, and just a lot of fun. And that's what I'm looking for. So practicality and fun. So uh, these scooters, I mean, there are some made in North America. There are some made uh, in the Asian continent. There are some made in Europe. And uh, they all have their own appeals, charms, and, and uh, uh, pragmatisms. And uh, I mean, some of these things clock in at a top speed of uh, upwards of 80 kilometers per hour which is absolutely insane. Um, you would have to get a full riding suit, helmet, and gloves, uh, shin pads, elbow guards, all that kind of stuff to ride one of those uh, with any degree of safety. If you wiped out at that speed, it would be absolutely uh, devastating for your uh, personal frame. So, uh, but I've been considering this and, it, you know, I don't need much. I'm thinking somewhere around 35 kilometers per hour. Uh, I really want uh, some range for a vehicle of that type so I don't have to uh, cut my journey short. I love to explore, as you know, uh, if you're a viewer of uh, Throwback Chevy. And uh, I like to get out to places like uh, this here at Cathedral Bluffs Park uh, on a lovely summer day like it is today. 
uh, with the breeze in your hair and, and uh, everybody's out walking their dogs or walking themselves or uh, looking out over the bluffs onto Lake Ontario. Uh, so what a wonderful way to uh, save time for commuting and to uh, explore little nooks and crannies that you wouldn't get to in a full-size uh, van. And the beauty of an electric scooter is that most of them fold away, the handlebars fold down, and you can just stash it in the back of the van. And so you get somewhere, and if you get the inkling, you'd like to make a little journey, just pull it out, unfold it, and bang, Bob's your uncle, off you go into the urban wild. Uh, so. This is something I've been considering and uh, I would like to pose to you, the viewer, uh, if there's any kind of option uh, that you have been exploring or that you have already uh, come to a conclusion with and, and maybe you have a fold away bicycle that you keep in your van or on the back of your van or maybe you are an electric scooter operator, uh, electric skateboards, um, Maybe you just prefer to walk and, and you want to keep it that way. But uh, just a short video. I'd like to know what you think. So in the comments section below, uh, let me know what your idea is, what you have been doing, what works for you, uh, what didn't work for you. And uh, maybe we can start a discussion down there. Uh, I hope you're enjoying yourselves. Uh, thanks to all the new subscribers. Uh, hit the bell for notifications if you want to know when I've released another video. And uh, I'm looking forward to hearing what you think. Um, the Real Michael Coughlin on Instagram. You can follow me there and I'll try to continue to post notifications as to when I have released other episodes of Throwback Chevy. So, uh, have a great day. I hope you're enjoying yourself wherever you are and wherever your journey's taking you. I'll talk to you the next time on Throwback Chevy.